Hello Scorpio, I hope you're all doing well in today's reading. We'll be looking at whoever you're thinking about for January. You're Cancer, Taurus, Leo here twice. And we do have a little bit of Earth with this King of Pentacles. I mean, it doesn't have to be your person sign. It is energy we are looking at. This person's overall stance, Nine of Swords, Eight of Pentacles in reverse. This seems to be insecurities confidence issues that's what i'm getting clarify the nine of swords but this person's been overthinking things they're very much stuck in their head when it comes to you and this situation why is nine of swords here this person oh look at that same energy coming through nine of swords page of cups knight of pentacles this combination is a secret crush. Someone who has feelings for you, but they're guarded, right? The knight's in armor. Yeah, this person's watching you, analyzing, obsessing. They're very curious when it comes to you, Scorpio. So there's someone amongst you here that's overthinking and stressing about you. Why is Eight of Pentacles in reverse here? Clarify the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Page of Cups. Harfant. This person's stressing more than they are doing anything. But they do seem to be wanting commitment. Some of you, this person's at a distance from you. Very few of you, this person may be married with children, with the pages, and there's guilt and regret, but that will, um, that's not the main storyline I was getting. So if they are committed, then that is the reason they can't put in the work here. Yeah, so they're sort of releasing, letting go of control and going with the flow, trying to. I mean, they're struggling with the Nine of Swords, but... Some of them feel they have no control because your stance, we have four of cups, ace of cups in reverse. This is unrequited love for some of you. You're not, your emotions aren't really in this. There's rejection here because the page of cups in their energy and he's turning down the cup, right? Why is four of cups in reverse here? For Scorpio's stance. Some of you, the situation was lingering. Um, this person did, wasn't doing much, right? They're not putting in the effort. So this was keeping things at a standstill, causing a lot of conflict, feeling as if the other was playing mind games. So you're not wanting to participate here. Clarify the Four of Cups in reverse. King of Pentacles, ooh. The odd energy we have four of swords in reverse tower in reverse four of cups upright there's moodiness here you may avoid this person at times they're coming through us the king of pentacles someone who's financially well off it's a very grounded energy taurus someone who wants commitment why is ace of cups in reverse here I don't see you initiating anything though, Scorpio. Why is Ace of Cups in reverse? Magician, yeah, you're not doing anything. You're coming through as quite secretive. There's someone from your past looking back at you as well. Do you see how the King of Wands, his head is turned? in the direction of the queen, but she's keeping this king at arm's length, not revealing much with the moon. Some of you, this is a no contact situation. And this person is seeing, realizing your worth here, but you've pulled back. You're coming through as quite evasive, emotionally distant. You're not doing anything. 
And you're also, you're very, I'm, it's almost the King of Pentacles versus the King of Pentacles because I'm getting a new energy come through here as well. Someone who's stable, but your emotions aren't quite in this. You, you don't, you're not going out of your way to make anything work with this person, whoever this spread is picking up on. It seems to be a new energy, but listen to your intuition here. How this person will be feeling about you. We have Sun in reverse, Six of Cups. Um, well, if it's a past person or new, whatever, there's fondness here. They feel like there's a special connection. It's a soulmate bond, but sudden in reverse, there's some, they don't feel the most, they're unfulfilled with what is going on here. Clarify the sun in reverse. Some of them feel that they don't have the clarity they need when it comes to you because you're holding back. They don't know where they stand with you. Ace of Pentacles, Three of Cups. Yeah, this is someone who wants to date you, especially if you are putting yourself out there. Knight of Cups. This person has feelings for you and they want um, to get to know you better. Three of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. They want this opportunity with you. They, it's all cups. This person has definitely has romantic feelings for you, Scorpio. Clarify the Six of Cups for how this person will be feeling about Scorpio. There's a sense of feeling like they've known you before or there's comfort here. Why is Six of Cups here? Whether it's past or new. It's a very sweet energy, usually quite romantic. Yeah, see, Three of Cups, Nine of Swords again. And this person's been overthinking. They're very stressed out when it comes to you. Why is Six of Cups here? Also, uh, finance, finances are on your mind. I was telling you this is someone who's quite business focused. So they're also, they're getting to know you for some of you and they have a lot going on in terms of their work. But I still want, give me one more for the Six of Cups and their feelings. Death, Ten of Wands. This person, if they're past person, they want reconciliation. And this separation is proving to be a burden for them. They don't want to be apart. The mutual energy, Scorpio, is Knight of Cups, Knight of Pentacles. There's a lot of potential here. And there's, the mutual energy is that there's love, but no one's really rushing anything. Um, there's emotion, but it's slow and steady. For this person's intentions, we have Ace of Wands, Five of Cups. While they're physically very attracted to you, you represent a new opportunity. A lot of you, this is, if you haven't met them, it may be a new person you'll be meeting here in the future, right? We had Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. Some of you in your overall energy, um, your stance is you're giving up on love. You're not making anything happen. Magician in reverse, you're not manifesting and you're focused on your coins here, King of Pentacles. And it's almost when you least expect it, this energy may come in. Clarify, I don't think I need to clarify Ace of Wands for someone's intentions. They're wanting something physical, passionate with you. But why is the Five of Cups here? See, if it's a past person, they're still attracted to you and they're missing you. Six of Cups, Five of Cups, they're reminiscing. But for a new person, I need more clarity. Star universe, some of you are dealing with an Aquarius. This is pessimism. They 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 don't have confidence in themselves in this situation. They're, they're healing from something, it seems. From a Two of Cups situation, something they invested a lot of time and energy. So they're still coming out of something. And it's almost rushing, trying to rush their healing process here. So yeah, I think that the Knight of Pentacles is a correct approach uh, for you in terms of this new person as well, because they're, they need some healing. Definite self-worth issues. I was seeing the Hermit, Two of Swords. But this sadness, scorpiorities, 
For what action they'll take, we have strength in reverse, king of pentacles. Well, they're feeling weak here um, in their actions, but they are wanting stability. They're wanting to build with you with the king of pentacles. Clarify strength in reverse for what action this person will take towards Scorpio. Six of Cups, yeah, they feel weak. They don't want to be apart. They want to see you. They have love for you. Two of Cups, some of you may have children with this person. In the past, if this person was arrogant, they used to hold back a lot. They, they can't any longer. They feel weak when it comes to you. Wow, I keep seeing the Nine of uh, Swords coming through. You're weighing heavy on their mind, that's for sure. Why is strength in reverse here? Three of Cups. They have a lot of lust for you here as well. And a few of you, either you have a decision to make or they do. So this one of you may have another option. So you'll have to make that decision. Seems to be in your energy, Queen of Wands, but it's a general reading. This person wants to come together or reconcile. Clarify the King of Pentacles thing because they have a lot of desire for you, Ace of Wands. Clarify the King of Pentacles. It's a very respectful energy. King of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, yeah. Uh, this person's really burning for you. I'm not sure they'll show you that side um, right away because King of Pentacles, as I'm saying, it's very respectful. So they won't be very lusty or it's lusty or we're lustful um they'll be trying to control that they're having a hard time controlling their desires but they're doing their best clarify the king of pentacles let's get one more for this person's action scorpio Three of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. They're wanting to communicate. Some of you clear the air. You may be getting to know this person online, or they may just be at a distance, right? In your feelings, we have Three of Swords, Nine of Wands. Wow. Well, you're on guard here. Something's going on with you, Scorpio. It may be because you've come out of something, a third party, or someone. It doesn't have to be a third party, but it talks about doubt heartbreak so the reason you're very defensive here is because of your past experiences puppy and you have the three of swords queen of cups yeah you're very sensitive and you're protecting yourself you're relying on your intuition and your intuition is telling you to guard yourself protect your energy so I see that is what you're doing and your intuition is on point. You're coming through upright, right? Queen of Cups in reverse is a scattered energy, someone who's moody, emotionally all over the place. So if you have been going through a bit of a you know, feeling low, you'll be coming out of that. Judgment three of pentacles. A lot of, th a lot of threes coming through uh, Scorpio. Why is Nine of Wands here? Let's get some clarity on that. Clarify the Nine of Wands for how Scorpio will be feeling. Clarify the Nine of Wands. Sun. What are you protecting? You're, <laughs> you're protecting your happiness. You're feeling like yourself again. Your emotions are more stable. Whatever you are dealing with, this King of Wands in reverse. I'm getting two energies here, Scorpio. Some of you, this King of Wands, it definitely seems to, seems to be a past person. The Three of Swords energy seems to be linked to him or her. Can be a player, someone who has a wandering eye, non-committal. But this person still has their eye on you, Ace of Cups. Which is why you're guarding yourself. Some of you, literally, you're guarding yourself against a Leo here. But there's two energies. One seems to be a bit more arrogant, whereas the other one's more down to earth, but they have a lot of insecurities. I don't know, there's two energies here. 
So you may have options. In your outcome, we have Knight of Swords, Hermit in Reverse, Four of Pentacles in Reverse. This talks about coming back together with someone. So if there has been distance or a period of no contact, I see you communicating with someone. Knight of Swords. You're very direct here in terms of what you're saying. It's not the most emotional. The emotions are there, but we have a lot of knights coming through, right? So I don't know. I think this is more of a getting to know phase. We have Knight of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, Knight of Wands. Clarify the Knight of Swords here for Scorpio's outcome. Clarify the Knight of Swords. It's communication. That is what it's talking about. Communicating with someone at a distance, and that may be an issue here. Six of Swords. The communication is very erratic. It's on again, off again, is what I'm getting. Some of you, you're attracting someone who's a bit opposite to you, right? So that there may be some challenges in getting to know each other. It's nothing you can't work past if that is the case. This person's outcome, Harfant, Chariot, and Reverse, Six of Swords, Four of Wands. Hmm. Clarify the Hierophant in reverse for this person's outcome. This person, they have insecurities, feeling like they're not good enough. They're moving at a turtle's pace. Um, as a result, this person's trust issues, they're in full armor here. Um, they're not moving things forward. And some of them can't because they're far away from you, right? Chariot, Six of Swords. I don't see full-on commitment here in your outcome, but there's potential with the Knight um, to work your way up, right? Because we have the Knight and the King. But the timing isn't right right now. Clarify Six of Swords for this person's outcome. Clarify the Six of Swords for this person on Scorpio. Yeah, non-committal here for the time being. And I wasn't really seeing that you were wanting to rush anything. You're coming through as guarded. Why is Four of Wands here for this person's outcome? Clarify the Four of Wands. Some of you, I'm getting that same energy that we had in their overall stance. They're in a situation which is a burden for them. They want it to be over. The love is not there because we have a couple, King of Pentacles upright, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So there may be a family situation here and they're unable to leave that. So they feel stagnant. They want you. They're attracted to you. They miss you. Six of Cups, Ace of Wands. There is affection, there is love, but things can't move past a friendship because they have to wrap up something prior to you. Some of you, if it's not that, because I was telling you I was picking up on two energies, um, this person fears commitment. That is what I'm getting. Why is Four of Wands here for this person's outcome? Clarify the Four of Wands. third-party situation, separation. We have three of swords in your energy. We have three of swords in their energy. What advice do you have for Scorpio? I want advice from your tarot in the night. You know, I have oracles for advice as well, but what advice do you have for Scorpios in regards to this person on their mind? Empress in reverse. What advice, tower? Ooh, two major arcana. Two of pentacles. They're saying um, there's a need to focus on yourself, self-love, if you haven't been with Hermit in reverse. And some of you, you've been on again, off again. There is three people. It's saying let it, let whatever is not meant to be fall and don't try to resist the change or control anything. Right? Because with the Two of Pentacles, we have the Two Pentacles in the air. 
tower is shaky ground. So this is telling me things are sort of up in the air. It's not really built on a solid foundation. Why is Empress in reverse here? King of Cups, Tower, King of Swords, Two of Pentacles. Yeah, you have options. It's saying Two of Pentacles is a juggler. Um, I'm not saying, I don't see your guides telling you to juggle, but they are saying keep your options open, playing the field. There's nothing wrong in getting um, to know new people. And it's saying mind over heart. You're mature. King of Cups, King of Swords. You have the experience, Scorpio, to maneuver through this situation. So rely on yourself, your intuition. Whether with this person or without, you are attracting your other half here. Um, so that is not something you have to worry about. Because we have the Queen of Cups as your energy and we have the King of Cups here. So that is a couple. Ah, I'm having a hard time picking up these cards with these nails, but I'll do it by tomorrow. There you go. Okay, Scorpio. You also have options, King of Cups, King of Swords, online connection, yeah. Which is why I was saying play the field. Someone online will spark your interest. Just be sure to check if they who, if they are who they claim to be. infatuation infatuation infatuated love whether you are falling fast or it's a romantic obsession stay grounded before you get caught in illusion tower king of swords it's telling you to yeah mind over heart okay scorpio i don't see you you are coming through as quite queen of cups can be a little bit um sometimes she needs to protect her energy but the rest of your Energy is telling me you're not really rushing into anything. I don't know. Queen of Cups can be easily swayed by her emotions. We have Devil in Disguise. Someone may appear like an angel but has a hidden dark side. Don't let them pull the wool over your eyes. Yeah. So if you're getting to know people online, there may be someone here who doesn't have your best interest at heart. Look at that. A lot of reference to travel. Okay, we have mixed signals. A lover is unsure of what they want, sending you mixed signals, causing great confusion. Maybe it's best to move on. I don't see you necessarily being confused here. 